sketchbooks are meant to be personalized, and I think a big part of that is customizing the cover of your sketchbook. So today I'm going to be planning, sketching, and doing thumbnails for the cover of my sketchbook. Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, this is the part one of a two-part series of me painting the cover of my sketchbook. Uh, this is my sketchbook for university, my first year studying illustration, and uh, I did a very poor job at filling up this sketchbook over this school year. So I was told to finish this over summer break. So there will probably be a lot of sketch with me videos, filling up my sketchbook videos this summer because I do have probably like half the sketchbook left to go, which is really bad. I'll do better next year. But now that I'm getting back into art, I am ready to fill this out. And I thought that some motivation for filling out the sketchbook would be having a cool cover to look at every time I grab my sketchbook. So that's what I'm doing today. I've actually done this once before on my last sketchbook a few years back. Uh, I'm not sure if I recorded it, but knowing me, I probably did. It's probably on YouTube somewhere. I will check after recording this. So I had the idea to draw koi fish this time. So I just wanted like a simple, cute, colorful cover to look at. Uh, I told myself that throughout the summer I'd try out different materials. So in, you'll see that I use some different stuff when I practice like the coloring of the koi fish. I've only ever drawn koi fish once before. I think it was a gouache painting a few years back. Um, and I have little to no experience drawing any creatures. I've primarily drawn like fan art of characters and just like semi-realism, cartoony stuff. Like some more people. And I guess like I've, dab I've dabbled in some like, I don't feel like landscapes are quite the right word, but I have painted like skies and water before, but creatures is something that always really scared me. Um, but yeah, I thought koi fish is a little less threatening than say like a horse or a dog or something. I started off with a pen sketch. I used a red micron pen that's not doing the best, to be honest. I should probably throw it out, but you know. <laughs> And then I used a Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen for all the details and just finishing up the koi fish. And I, re I really do like this pen. Um, primarily in my sketchbook, I have been using that pen because we're discouraged from using like pencils when we're out like sketching from life uh, and using pens and stuff to sketch. I have found uh, feels a lot better and I feel like I learn a lot better that way. So that's what I've been doing this in this sketchbook. So yeah, I wasn't actually gonna draw more koi fish. I was just gonna do my little pen sketch and then start on the cover. But I showed it to my boyfriend and he told me that I should try coloring it. And he is right. Because <laughs> that would be a great opportunity to not only fill up my sketchbook, but to also gain inspiration and experience with these other mediums. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Once the sketchbook is done, I think it'd be nice to do a sketchbook flip through. So I guess that's also motivation to fi finish and fill out this sketchbook throughout the summer. I was actually planning on painting the cover like a few months back. I think back in the fall, back when I first got the sketchbook at uni, but uh, I never actually got around to it. I did order Mod Podge to my accommodation and I, I did put a layer of Mod Podge on as like the primer for sketchbooks. Because if, you, if you're gonna paint on any like different surface than like canvases or paints, or paints, then canvases or paper. You should always prime it. Even canvases and paper, you should prime sometimes. So yeah, it has been primed. I don't know if it's, if it's like worn off or something since then. I don't have any Mod Podge here at the moment. So I kind of just painted straight on my, straight on the cover. So hopefully that layer of Mod Podge is doing something. But yeah, I never got around to actually painting the cover. And I'm scared that if I finish the sketchbook without painting the cover, then I'll just never paint the cover. And I just think it's better to do it, like, along the way anyway. So that, like, it just feels more rewarding to pick up that sketchbook and draw on it every time I see that cover. For the coloring of the koi fish, I would have just practiced with my gouache, but it's currently in England. I don't have any here in Norway. But I have ordered a second paint set just to keep here, just so that this doesn't happen again in the future. And, like, I can't really be dragging all my art supplies back and forth, so I'd rather just keep doubles of the most important things 
Um, but yeah, the lack of gouache also forced me to use other mediums. So the first medium you see me use is pencils. I used my Prismacolor pencils. This isn't my favorite drawing out of the koi fish that I drew, but I wonder if that might be because I think the initial sketch just wasn't great either. I was looking at different references, references as well to see different ways to draw fish or the koi fish. And I just think that that one wasn't like the best sketch. Uh, pencils, I don't really use pencils that much because pencils crave a lot of patience that I just don't have. Because there's just a lot of building up color and just layering and you have to go in like, you start off very light and then you just gradually keep building up and I just, I just don't really, it hurts my hand as well if I do it for too long because I have a really hard grip on my pencil, which is why I prefer using other mediums like markers and pens and just digital art and stuff like that where I don't have to destroy my hand because I, I just don't know how to hold a pencil. Or I don't know how to grip a pencil with normal strength. But I do I do like that you achieve a specific look and texture that you can really only get with pencils. So I think that looks pretty cool. Um, but I, I mainly only use pencils for like detailing on pieces. I don't like doing a whole piece with pencils because it's just also just like a, a rather tiny um, medium to use to fill up bigger areas as well. It was nice practice though. Next up, I used markers. I used my beloved Copic markers, and anyone who's seen my art before, or has been here for a while, knows that this this was it <laughs> for the longest time. Uh, I have a lot of experience with Copic markers. I know how they will behave and react. I know what to expect. I am very, I'm very, I am very comfortable with them. It is my preferred, or I guess it was my preferred medium for the longest time. Obviously, it's also the outcome that I'm happiest with, but that's kind of to be expected from a medium that I am more familiar with than these others so yeah it was nice trying them out again because i haven't used them for a while Lastly, I used watercolor markers and pencils. I used Koi watercolor markers and Derwent watercolor pencils. And this means that they're markers and pencils that are water soluble. So if you go over them with water, they'll kind of react like watercolors. And I use this because, well, I didn't really know what other mediums to use. And also because I really wanted the, the last one to be kind of painterly, but I don't have any, uh, I don't have my, my Himimiya gouache here and I don't have my Ecoline watercolors so I didn't really have anything to paint with um, since both are in England so I just thought this would be the next best thing. This was this was definitely the stuff that I had the least experience with so therefore it's harder to predict and understand but you know I did my best and I think it might be the worst outcome in my opinion but I do I do like that little watercolor look so once I do have paints again I wouldn't mind you know trying this out again. I did also try water soluble oil pastels. I didn't record it though. Uh, that was something I had actually never tried before. I have zero experience with that beforehand. Um, but I, I can show a picture on screen. I'm not super happy with it. I guess that's motivation to keep trying with not just water soluble oil pastels, but also normal oil pastels. See if I can kind of get the hang of it. I know I don't normally post or upload videos on Wednesdays, but I thought it'd be nice to have the part one and part two uh, come out around the same time. So part two will come out on Sunday. And, and during that part, I will be painting the cover.
For my last koi fish practice, I went back to my Copic markers, uh, but this time I'm practicing different coloring techniques. You'll see in this video that I add details with um, some other markers. I think they're called like Karen Deco Brush paint markers or something like that. They're basically acrylic paint markers. At the time, I didn't have my uh, Posca pens, so it just had to make do. I used them to add just a pop of different colors, and I, I added different strokes to kind of mimic scales, but like in more of an artistic way. I did really like this look, but ultimately I chose not to use that technique on my cover. Um, but I wouldn't mind making more art with that sort of artistic, like, painterly effect. Like, making it, like, very colorful and saturated and adding details, but, like, in a more artistic, non-realistic way. Yeah, I, I do kind of like that look. Lastly, I added sparkles to fill up the white space of the page. And, yeah, that's everything I really have to say about these drawings. On Sunday, I will be uploading the video of me actually painting on my sketchbook cover. So, look forward to that. And... I will see you guys on Sunday. But in the meantime, if you guys want to keep up with what I'm doing, then you can follow me on Instagram. The links to all my social media will be in the description below. I do draw pretty much daily, and I also post at least to my story on Instagram just about daily. I'm always updating people on what I'm doing. So yeah, if you're interested in that, then go follow me there. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video.